First, open the box and remove all the components. You should have the CPAP main unit with control box and blender, which are packed together with the humidifier bottle and the peep bottle and the CPAP arm. Two patient circuits, which include silicone tubing and heater wires. Two types of oxygen connectors, a sample nasal cannula and a user manual. Begin by unpacking the components attached to the CPAP main unit and place them to one side. You can remove the bubble wrap later. Now remove all the straps and clamps holding the wires and tubes, as well as the bubble wrap protecting the air compressor. Carefully take the air compressor off its stand on the machine and unscrew and remove the back panel. Remove the styrofoam from the back panel and discard. Replace the panel and put the air compressor back on its stand on the CPAP main unit. Once the air compressor is back in place, connect the air compressor power cord to the socket on the control box. Then connect the air tube from the CPAP main unit to the air compressor. Pull gently on the air tube to ensure that it is firmly secured. Next, insert the CPAP arm into the main unit and secure it by tightening the black knob. There are two glass bottles used in this CPAP machine. The humidifier bottle has two red stripes indicating the range of allowed water levels. This is placed in the holder containing the heater. The PEEP bottle has one stripe indicating the required water level and a scale that indicates how much pressure the device is providing. This bottle is placed in the other holder. Once the bottles are in place, we can connect the patient's circuit or tube set. We start by inserting the heater wire into one side of the silicon tubes like this. Once inserted, attach the patient end of the patient circuit to the CPAP arm. Then connect each tube to its appropriate bottle. The tube is attached to the PEEP bottle. The tube with the heater wire is attached to the humidifier bottle. Finally, connect the heater wire to the back of the control box and secure it by tightening the connector ring. Next, connect the gas supply tube from the blender to the humidifier bottle, like this. Finally, connect the power cord to the control box. The CPAP is now ready to be connected to the power and oxygen sources. The MTTS CPAP can be connected to the three most common oxygen sources. Hospital walled gas system, oxygen cylinder, or oxygen concentrator. Because different systems require different connectors, three common types of connectors are included with each CPAP machine. The most common connector comes attached directly to the oxygen hose. The other two can be found in the plastic bag along with the ring clamp for securing them to the hose. First, we'll cover how to attach the most common connector to an oxygen cylinder. To begin, remove the humidifier bottle from the flow meter, then connect the CPAP oxygen hose and tighten the connector nut with a wrench. If this connector does not fit your oxygen source, you will need to replace it with an alternative. Now we'll go over the steps to change the connector. First, use a sharp tool to cut off the end of the hose. Then remove the appropriate connector and the ring clamp from the plastic bag. You may need to use the sharp tool to enlarge the diameter of the hose slightly by cutting off the inside edge of the hose. Once the tube is ready, slide the ring clamp onto the hose. To make insertion of the connector easier, 
you can apply a small amount of hand soap to the connector. This will act as a lubricant. Now insert the connector into the hose. It will require some force. If needed, place the connector on a hard surface and push the tube onto it. Once the connector is in place, slide the ring clamp to the edge of the hose and use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the clamp. If none of the connectors fit, you can clamp the hose directly to the oxygen source. It's a suboptimal solution and not recommended unless there is really no other choice. In this case, cut off the attached connector with a sharp tool. Do not remove the humidifier from the flow meter. Instead, remove the ring clamp from the plastic bag and slide it onto the hose. Connect the hose directly to the humidifier nozzle and position the ring clamp at the end of the hose. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the ring clamp and tug to make sure it is secure. Once the oxygen source is connected, you can connect the CPAP to a power source. Make sure that the power plug is the same size and shape as the one that is provided with your CPAP. If it is different, please use the appropriate adapter. The CPAP is now connected to the power and oxygen sources.